Not every camera is the same. Not every Fuji camera is the same. And it might take you a while to find the right Fuji for you. I finally found the right Fuji for me. The Fuji XC4. Let me tell you what I learned after six months using it. It's Wes, welcome to this video. Today we're gonna talk about the Fuji XE4. It's a six month check-in. I'm gonna tell you the things that I knew I'd love going in, the things that surprised me that I loved after six months, and I'm gonna share three or so cons, disadvantages, things that I'm not crazy about. Without further ado, you're a beautiful person and a good person, and if no one has told you that today, let me be the first person to tell you that. All right, the number one thing that I love about the Fuji X-C4 is the size. I take this camera everywhere I go. It is my daily carry and it fits in a messenger sling bag that I wear. The second thing I love about this camera is the 26 megapixel sensor. This sensor loves light and I love the way the images look. Uh, it's the same one on the Fuji X, uh, X-T4 and that was my first experience with Fuji as I rented that camera um, well, about a year ago and I just loved how it rendered light. The sensor is awesome on this. It's the Trans 4 and you know it's interesting Fuji might be coming out with a new sensor so I don't know if I'll be as crazy about that but it is something I love about the Fuji X-C4. Now interchangeable lenses. I sold the Fuji X100V and got the XE4 because one of the reasons was the interchangeable lenses. Now with that is the X mount lenses. I love the majority of the lenses that I've used. The 23 mil that I'm filming on now, which is the 35 millimeter equivalent, is my favorite lens from Fuji. It's really similar to the, the X100V. That lens uh, was amazing. Probably my favorite pictures taken with that camera. But sadly, I traded it for this one that had a few more features and it offered more flexibility. But I love the 23 mil. I love the, um, this is the 18 to 55. This is a great little lens. And uh, you get a lot of value and flexibility out of the lenses from Fuji. Um, here's actually a lens. It's a Russian made Helios. It's a uh, 58 mil and it's, uh, it was about $60 and it's a crazy kind of vintage manual focus lens and you can get some great value out of these X mount lenses. Um, now the flip up screen is something that I love. The X100 V didn't offer that. The X-T4 had a flip out screen, but I like the flip up screen and it's working well for me. That's how I film a majority of my YouTube videos. Something else that I knew going in I would love are the Fuji film simulations. Um, I love classic Chrome. That's probably the one I use the most, but they're all fun. The <laughs> number one black and white or monochrome look is Acros Yellow. I love that. I shoot on that all day, every day. Last but not least, going in, I knew I would love Fuji recipes. Now, these are ways you can custom program a look that emulates film in your camera and it comes out on those uh, JPEGs baked in and it looks great. All right, those are the things that I knew I'd love about this camera. I knew going in, the interchangeable lenses, the flip screen, those were the two most important ones, but it had the great sensor the film simulations, all those things I knew. Now here are things that absolutely surprised me and some of these are brand new. The number one is the touchscreen. Now in the touchscreen, I have programmed four custom touchscreen functions and they are as follows. If I swipe up, I can switch from single point to area, focus area. If I swipe down, I can switch from face detect or eye detect or eye track to turning that off. So if I'm shooting people, but also subjects, swipe down, toggles between face detect and uh, turns face detect off. Super helpful. If I swipe this way, uh, swipe to the left, I can change my shutter mode from mechanical to electronic or uh, switching to electronic when uh, mechanical is not available. And then if I swipe, I think I mixed one of these up, but then if I swipe this way, is I can change from a manual focus mode to an automatic continuous or automatic uh, single uh, focus mode. So those four custom functions on the rear touchscreen are something I didn't really use with the X100V and they've absolutely unlocked functionality 
in the XE4 for me. This next one is the flip up screen blocks the uh, cold, cold shoe for a shotgun mount mic, but there is an adapter that I've been uh, playing with, I've been toying with. You can actually kind of, it's a two cold shoe thing. Uh, actually, Pablo from Buenos Aires Imagery gave it, gave it to me for a gift. And I just uh, put the Movo shotgun mic off to the side and I can use the screen and uh, use the mic. So that is a nice uh, surprise that I've been able to use the flip up screen with the shotgun mic. So that's something I didn't see coming. Now the other thing is the slow motion in HD is really great. I can do slow motion 60 frames per second, which is probably all the slow motion I'll ever need. And I can do 120 frames per second and get some really, really super slow motion in HD. It looks great. The other thing I found is I can assign the function button to go from photo mode into automatically recording video. And so having a dedicated video uh, recording button has been great. And that's been really opening up uh, me when I'm shooting stills to going into getting some, some video footage on the fly. And so I love that dedicated uh, video button. It's a custom button I programmed to the function button. And on the tails of that, something I didn't know is when you do that, it takes, if, you're, if you are in a mode where you have a Fujifilm recipe and you hit that dedicated video button and go from photo mode straight into recording video, it applies the Fujifilm recipe. Those colors get baked in to that video footage. And that's something that I love too. It gives you an instant film look that I really enjoy. Something else that I've really started to play with recently, and I'll probably do a video on this, is focus bracketing. Yes, the Fuji X-E4 has focus bracketing. And so you can take uh, shots with different focal, um, focal points and use Photoshop to blend them together for a shot that has a, a bigger area in focus. So that's something I'm gonna do a video on coming up. Uh, this is silly and it may seem shallow, but the custom shutter button, I have a little wood button that I've screwed into that shutter button and I really like that organic piece that makes the, uh, the, the look of the camera more uh, engaging. Something else I love is the front command dial. Now this, the Fuji X100V had this too, but if you just press in on the front command dial, you can switch in manual mode. You can switch that dial from controlling ISO by rolling it back and forth, up ISO, down ISO. If you push it in, then it goes to shutter speed and you can control shutter speed. For a street photography camera, super, super easy to use. I love that control. Now, the other thing that I've been enjoying on the, the X, uh, X-E4 is the, using the aperture ring on these X-mount lenses. So this 23 mil is an F2 as it's uh, kind of one end and you just by it's a clicking or um, I forget what they call it, but you, you have these. So this, this 23 mil F2 lens, you, as you turn the aperture ring, you hear these subtle clicks and you can sense where you're moving uh, the aperture to or how much you also see the exposure simulation because it's a mirrorless camera on the back of the camera. But that's great too. I love using the aperture ring. And the last thing is the uh, the little toggle, the joystick. I've actually enjoyed using that. Um, uh, it's on the X100V, but I've actually enjoyed picking up that habit of moving the focus point around. Um, I actually, when I started shooting with the Canon uh, R, I was using my thumb. Even while I was up to my face, I could use my thumb to move the focal point on this touch screen. And this is very similar. I can have this up to my eye and move the focal point with that uh, toggle or that little joystick. And so that's been a great uh, surprise to me. Now, here are the about three things that are cons that I really didn't see coming and I, I'm not crazy about them. And so one is the flip up screen is rather fragile. It feels a little rickety. Uh, I haven't had any problems with it, but I'm always kind of careful when I flip it up because uh, it, it it flips up easily, but then there's this other kind of hinge move that you pop it out and then you go all the way up. Uh, so it's 180 degrees so you can use it for front facing vlogging style uh, screen. But it feels a little bit delicate. Delicate's a better word than, than flimsy or fragile. Um, I just always try to be very careful when I'm using that screen. The other thing, uh, and this is true of the X-T4 and the X-100V, it has F-Log and I'm not crazy about it. It doesn't seem to me to be the easiest uh, log footage to grade. 
Now I've recently switched from uh, Final Cut Pro in the last six months to DaVinci Resolve. So I don't know if that has something to do with it, but I just not crazy about F-Log. I'd rather film in uh, classic Chrome or something like that. So that's another thing I would say is a con. And the last con is the exposure compensation dial on the top takes up a lot of room and I just don't get any value out of it. I don't get any bang for my buck. <laughs> so I'd rather have that be uh, assigned to uh, maybe a custom function or just have it do something else like, like aperture, ISO, shutter speed, some, some function that I'm going to be using. But they, as far as exposure compensation, I'm always in manual mode and that renders that useless. Uh, all right, that's it. Those, those are the things after six months with the Fuji XE4 that I thought might help you to share. I'm trying to be useful. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, leave me a like, give me a like, leave me a comment, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I'll see you in the next video.